Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. A bit breezy today. It took me a while to get here because of uh, roadworks and alternate routes and all that kind of stuff. I'm just outside Godston, which I've done recent videos from. I'm coming back to a little chapel that I first saw, oh god, it must have been about seven years ago, walking through here, um, just south of Godston off Tilburstow Hill. It's a lovely little little place, little area. It's a walking trail. It's all private estate, but there's a, a nice little walking trail around here. Great bluebells in that wood. Uh, you can see sort of in April. But let's, uh, let's have a walk up to it and have show you what I want to want to show you. This is the Chapel of St. Mark's. Hope you can hear me, it's really blowy. Um, Chapel of St. Mark's. Built in 1909, oh lovely old door. Built in 1909 out of an old barn. Now this is the west door. This west door here comes out of Hever Castle. Absolutely, Hever Castle. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, old door, I know, old door alert. I wonder if it's open. Let's have a look. I don't think it will be. Wow, look at that. It's amazing. And it's open. Oh, how fantastic. Oh. the light switch? Oh. And it's open. Wow. Oh, it's nice coming from the, from the wind. It's grade two listed, but the original barn was built in 1650, 1650. But say so it's been a, a chapel, private chapel since 1909. I must admit, I didn't expect it to be open. That's rather cool. Thank you very much for the owners for leaving it open. It's really lovely. Ownership of this land was unbroken continuously from 1066 to 1521. Complete lineage. There was a fire here in 1912, so they had to do a, do a little bit of um, restoration work, unfortunately. It's really nice. It's got a real sort of old-worldly feel to it, although it is a modern chapel. Up here to the altar. It's lovely. As I say, just a quick, quick visit here. The Chapel of St. Mark's. It's lovely, very peaceful. Was that the, um, that's where they keep the, uh, the robes. That's nice. So yeah, thought I'd just bring you here quickly, show you around. Hope the sounds are right outside because it's really blowy, really blowy. But now we're going to head back into Bletchingley, which I've done videos from before, but we're going to try and go back to the church um, and have a look inside there uh, for a little bit of an update on a church. Let's go. <laughs> So we're in Bletchingley, away from the traffic, and walking up to St Mary's Church, which I have been to before. Did a video here in nine, uh, 2019. Just wanted to come back to it, a little bit more information. And I have actually been meaning to come back to the church for a while, so it uh, seemed a good idea. This is Church Walk with all these listed buildings. 
like this one here, absolutely incredible Tudor in origin, building of historic interest. It's a lovely little walkway. I mean, how much must these be worth? Yeah, no, building of historic interest. Yeah, lovely. Look at that, that roof. That's amazing. Tiny door alert. Then it comes back out into the high street. It's such a shame, like a lot of these places, but obviously I've done loads of villages along the A25. And the constant hum of traffic, which I suppose can't be helped really. Um, modern, modern way of travel, isn't it? Used to be the old um, horse cart and horses. <laughs> But those days are long gone. So Mary's with its Norman Tower, beautiful Norman Tower. This church is over 900 years old. 900 years old. And I'm sorry if I am repeating myself. People have seen my earlier video from Bletchingley. Old door alert. But sometimes it's nice to revisit some of your favourite churches. Some of your favourite churches. But it is lovely. There's some nice little towels associated with this, with this church as well. And apologies to my friends who live in Bletchingley. I said I was going to catch up with them who live in Bletchingley. Um, this really was a last minute trip. Very much last minute trip. There's a public footpath that goes along here. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. The Hermit's Cell. The Hermit's Cell. Some notes on this cell will be found inside the church near this place, yes. We'll go inside and have a look. Yeah, this is the Clayton Memorial, built in 1705 by Sir Robert Clayton, who was an MP for Bletchingley. It's quite unique in the church, really unique. Archbishop Desmond Tutu, who was a, a part of the clergy here in 1966. And here's a little fact. His son taught me maths at school in the 1980s. A little bit of trivia for you. This part of the church is the old chapel built around 1230. You can tell by the, by the stonework. Wow, it's magnificent, look at that. It's part of the, of the cell that the hermit would have lived in. Yeah. This lancet window uh, is possibly marks the site of the cell of Brother Roger, hermit of Bletchingley, which had been back in the medieval period. Lovely. Some really old floor tombs here. September 1654, 1651. Oh, beautiful. Lovely old door. Enjoy the rest of your day. And you, thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That was nice. Lady doing the flowers in there was actually gonna go and find the key for the for the old door, which is massive. Um, I said, no, don't worry, you, you, you're you busy, don't worry about it. That was really nice, thank you for showing me around. So, yeah, lovely, a bit, blessing, a bit of blessingly. Okay, let's have a little look up the high street before we have lunch at the Bletchingley Arms, which I've never been into before, so that'll be fun. Tower Cottages, built in 1496, grade two listed. Tower Cottages, they, they don't look 1496, they look old, but not 1496. Just move away from the road slightly and the noise goes down, it's lovely. But it's a constant roar, an absolute 
constant worry traffic, as you can see. Nice cottages over the back there. This is part of the walk I did originally back in 2015. It's also on the previous video as well. But it's just, uh, just going to quickly come here and just show you the view. Yeah. It's the M23 down there, motorway. This is a very ancient settlement going back to Mesolithic times. We're high up on a ridge, as you saw just now. The amount of uh, ancient footsteps has trodden these paths over the years. Oh, this is the village pound. It's this little seating area. Didn't even know this was here. This was a village pound. <laughs> hey, here we go. The village pound was last used in 1899. Um, was put in order in 1959 in memory of Ralph Paul Hart, devoted friend of this village for nine years as parish clerk. So yeah. This was the Village Pound, like the one over at um, Westcott, just outside Dorking. They put animals in, something to do with taxes, I think it was. Yeah. Oh, it's a very overcast day today, little, little snippets of sunshine, but what can you do? As I walk back down Church Walk, this building is circa 1380, 1380. They're people's houses, so I'm not going to pry too much, but 1380. Small door alert, small door alert on the high street. Someone lives there, tiny door, tiny door. That's when I get run over. Houses. Right, we're heading down to lunch at the Bletchingley Arms, formerly called the Plough, which was first mentioned in 1704. So, uh, a nice ancient pub to have a pub lunch in, superb. Stairs. Isn't that cool? <laughs> love it, love it. Chicken, leek, and ham pie. It's got to be done. Cheers. Steak and ham and leek pie. Wow. So, while I eat my meal, which is a delicious steak and ham pie, absolutely fantastic. This is the Blessingly Arms in Blessingly. Please come along. Um, but while I eat my pie, hope you enjoyed this little video. Some uh, some Mark's Chapel and some Mary the Virgin Church in Blessingly. Everything okay with your meal? Absolutely delicious. Thank well you very done. much. Really nice. Thank I you. Told you, didn't I? you did. You did. I told you it's big and all. Enjoy. Thank you I'm very glad much. You Cheers, thank you. You're welcome. Um, that was nice, a bit of interruption from the nice lady. But yeah, absolutely delicious. Uh, please do the normal like, subscribe, all that normal stuff we do on YouTube. And while I enjoy this lovely uh, pie, I uh, hope you're having a lovely day and we'll see you next time. Take care.